Hi Capricorn, welcome to your advanced forecast and this is for the month of July until December. Now supposedly it's from June to December but since that we have actually moved to our new place so I did not manage to finish all the remaining signs, okay? Which is Capricorn, Aquarius and Pisces. So we'll start off in the month of July and let's see what's going to be coming your way. first card oops then actually flipped out this is a very good card because it means that whatever it is that you're wishing waiting for desiring it is gonna happen it it will also materialize and will kind of uh, shape up or come out of the surface this month of well, the first few weeks of July first two weeks especially Plus, somebody from the past coming back into your life. Work will become even more busier. There will also be a new job or work opportunity that's going to be coming your way. So if you're thinking or looking into changing your jobs or careers, then this is a very good month for you. Okay? Somebody from the past coming back into your life and someone whom you considered as your soulmate or someone who knows you from head to toe will also be coming back into your life which is a younger earth sign as well plus we'll be getting clarifications on this because this is a little bit hanging if you're with an air sign then you definitely you have a rival or you're you have a competition with a water sign and if you're with the fire sign then definitely you're in a competition with a water sign for Capricorns who's already married or who is already in a relationship and someone is about to take off or someone is about to leave or escape Be careful in making any impulsive decision or making any rush decision in the month of July when it comes to money investments and investing your money into something because you just want to simply grow your money or your savings. So just try to keep it aside or just keep it in the bank for a little while and wait for the right time. Okay? Mm, lovers in the sun. Obsession. <laughs> well, looks like you're slacking off in the sexual department. And if you're actually with a fire sign then definitely this person is having their own little entertainment on the side. And there will also be an issue about touch me not. Like, you don't really touch each other anymore. more issues about your lungs bronchial part neck breathing asthma excessive coughing um allergy as well anyway uh let's read first about your general area okay now there is somebody that you've been thinking about which is more likely a water sign uh, that you want to talk to or communicate with or hear from okay which is for from the first week towards the third week of Ju the month of July you'll be hearing from this person okay plus money coming in work opportunities you'll be making a major breakthrough if you've been having a lot of hard times completing a project or delivering a, uh, a deadline or project you will be able to do so at the second week of this month Plus, Mercury Retrograde will be starting this month as well. 
but you know I'm recording this in the month of June so it's you know it's slowly starting and other people can really feel the effect of it now work will become even more busier for those who's holding a um, higher stature or a higher position and you won't be able to you know have an excuse or at least get out of your busy meetings just to um, just to attend some family occasions or family gatherings you will also be missing out a um, like a very important occasion in your family or in one of your children if you have one and uh, most likely that you're gonna be missing out someone else's birthday birthday or like a school occasion or something like that and there will be some heartbreaks you know and there will also be some issues someone who will be scorning you for being not there all the time is for you know for being so busy at work and you're always preoccupied with you know with your ambitions and it's always about money but you know to yourself that this is not actually the case and this is not true because you've been working so hard just to give everything and just to provide for your family okay now especially if you're with an air sign if you're or if you're married with an air sign expect that this person will be very mean towards you and they will try to make you feel uncomfortable by missing out important occasions or imp important events in your family and your life and uh, I feel like expect a little communication gap with from the second week towards third week of this month all right now issues about children as well that will arise around the middle around the middle of the month because of your job or because of your work I feel like the third week of this month you will also be so busy traveling going here and there and because of that there will be a rivalry or there will be let's say an infidelity okay or a betrayal that's already happening or that's about to happen in your marriage or in your relationship soon now you need to be careful and watch your back and if you want to protect your own interest make sure that you will be well guarded and you'll be guarding your own turf you know to protect it from being invaded by a stranger now I feel like at this point you need to spend a little bit more time with your family as well okay we all know how hard working you are and how responsible you are but for some reason your family also misses you and wants to spend time with you it's not just you know it's not just all about money all the time they also need you they need your attention they need your care they just need you they just want you to be there for them physically not just financially not just emotionally not just mentally but physically because they miss hanging out with you or they miss just you know having a lot of fun with you so you need to loosen up a bit and you need to loosen up your some of your schedules that is not really that important if you can just push it at a later date or around the first week of August much better okay so that you can avoid all this growing gap in your marriage or in your relationship now for singles there is somebody from the past whom you're still waiting for or whom you're still waiting to hear from or to come back into your life which is a water sign this person is younger than you someone is very ambitious strong-willed you know and mentally strong as well but then they're very stubborn they still have feelings for you yet it seems like this person is really determined to create their own name and to prove to you that they could be somebody someday and if ever that they really want to come back to you or come back into your life they want to have the pride and honor all right so I still feel like this is your soulmate or this is the one whom you consider as your soulmate because no matter how much you deny your feelings for each other and no matter how much you try to close the door close the windows and everything this person could still get through because it's not yet over between the two of you it's not yet done between the two of you 
and I feel like there will still be another chance it's just that you need to be a little bit more patient because this person needs more time for themselves which is I feel like that's okay because while the two of you are not yet together or while the two of you are not yet married it's much better for them to have this kind of freedom okay so that when they finally settle down and when they finally decide that they really want to get married and have a family then they're going to be dedicating their time and attention to you and to your family okay now you also need to be a little bit more nurturing okay it's also time for you to pay attention to your mother figure or to um, an older female family member which is I feel like there will also be some issues about an older female family member in your family or your own mother okay now there will be some issues gossips or miscommunications that could actually arise and this person will be blowing things out of proportion and you'll be you will be so surprised how this person could, could actually come up with such story okay so things will slowly change and things will slowly you know shift in a way that you want to you know to pivot or to to turn and of course as I've said that if you're not gonna be allotting a time or you know at least to spend some time with your family with your children with with your partner then obviously there is a heartbreak that actually awaits you at the end of the month all right someone is going to flee or will be moving out of your house or will be moving out of your place if you're with a fire sign then definitely this fire sign is committing an infidelity and will be going for a water sign and if you're with an air sign then you're in competition with a water sign or with an air sign so but still I feel like you're not really gonna care that much because it this is not really the first time that this person will be doing this to you so you're kind of tired and you're kind of worn out okay or too consumed over the heartbreak and over the, the, the toxicity childishness and selfishness which you feel like if they cannot really understand what you're doing for them or that you're that you're only doing this for them then you know you can't really do anything about that you can't really bend their minds just to make them understand you all right so you're still gonna be putting your head into your job into your work and make it even more better all right success is already assured and you don't really have to worry about you know losing your job or losing money or whatever it is in fact that this is the start of your financial stability and financial increase again if ever that you want to change your careers or change your job or move to a new company this is also a very good month for you all right but not a good month for investing or putting out your money there okay just hold it off for a little while and wait for the right time now finances and career you're already having a hard time because there is something that you're just starting especially for those who just started their job or for those who just recently transferred to a new department new team or new company okay but you will get a grip of it but uh, expect that there will be some dirty politics or some people who's gonna be like you know backstabbing you or talking behind your back or judging you because they don't really know you they don't know you yet okay but the good thing here is your boss will be backing you up or there is a higher person more likely an authority figure who's going to be backing you up and who will not really believe all of this gossips that other people will be spreading about you to the extent that you will have some second thoughts whether this is really the good you know or whether this is the good or the uh, right environment for you or the right position for you now you're gonna have second thoughts but you know what this is not gonna be given to you if, if this is not really meant for you to have so be strong and things will slowly change around the month of August this is not permanent all right now for those who's just uh, starting a new project I feel like the delays that's going to be happening or that's going to be taking place it's because of your team members or the people that you're going to be working with so most of the time that you're going to be working with yourself and you're not going to be relying on those people around you in fact that they will be 
and intentionally delaying everything just for you to be in a bad position because they want to steal your position all right so be strong and you'll be able to succeed and uh, go to the top now sex and love life it seems like something is really going on or you're not I mean your sex life is getting dried up now for someone who is with a younger fire sign or for someone who's with a fire sign uh, they're kind of looking for an adventure okay they're kind of looking for a new style new adventure a new touch new thing okay they they miss the um, the excitement and they miss the uh, the feeling of uh, being wooed and touched and uh, of course you know the languidness of it and there will also be an obsession so the obsession will come from your partner and not from you but unfortunately they are also the one who's going to be committing infidelity okay that's the reason why they want to hold on to you too tight that while you are trying to give your all while you're trying to provide for your family and to them they're also uh, you know backstabbing you and uh, you're a very intuitive person so you know what's going on right behind you you're just waiting for the confirmation but you just need all you need right now is just your instinct and you need to listen to it okay there will also be a confrontation that's gonna happen right at the last week of this month and it seems like you know your communication gap will become even bigger and worse there will also be some jealousy or there will also be some confrontations about somebody from the past coming back into their life and it seems like since that you're always busy and you're not really paying attention to them they are considering in taking this person back into their life just to make you feel jealous or just to despise you but I feel like they're the one who's going to be paying off right after all of this, you know, impulsiveness. Well, they're, st they're the ones going to be wooing you anyway. But I feel like you need to think long and hard. How long are you still going to be putting up with this kind of drama, with this kind of manipulation? Alright? I don't see any separation for now. But it seems like the infidelity will just get even more stronger. It will just get even more obvious right at the end of this month of July now as for your health you will be opting for more healthy and organic stuff and organic meal and it seems like your health will also get better or you will slowly heal it's just that the depression will start sinking in stress also will be dawning on you and um, you also need to pay attention to your appearance or to your grooming and to yourself simply just pamper yourself just take care of yourself because you also deserve to be pampered okay watch out for your um, bone supplements or uh, there will also be some issues about calcium okay and bone blood energy stress and uh, you will also notice that you will have swollen legs or swollen feet okay I feel like there's a lack of uh, vitamins here but uh, you need to might as well just to consult your doctor about this okay whatever it is and uh, you will always feel tired most of the time or most of the day and spaced out you will be able to complete all of your tasks but then at the end of the day you won't even have time to talk to your family or to talk to your partner or to talk to your children okay uh, to at least let them know how your day went and this is what I'm trying to tell you that you need to spare some time for them your health will become even better and it will get you know um, you're on your pa you're on the right path to heal plus you need to detoxify and you need to release some of the negative energies or toxins inside your body and you also need to rehydrate okay water therapy drink a lot of water most of the time because you're getting dried up you you, you can know you can actually notice that your skin is getting dehydrated so I feel like you need to drink more water plus be careful with your kidney because you tend to hold your pee 
because you're so busy okay now aside from that I feel like you're being well guided and uh, well provided plus a trip near the water around um, the end of this month and I feel like you also need to um, add up more iodine in your diet or take some fresh seafood okay if you're not allergic to it it will help you now let's take a look at your oracle cards Okay, this time I'll be using Guardian Angel Terror Cards, okay? Okay, five of abundance, five of action, seeing clearly, garden of action, review and contemplation, ten of emotion, and let me pull out your uh, romance angel cards for your love messages. For this month of July, okay? Healing family issues, attraction, and requited love. <sighs> well, at this moment, yes. Now, five of abundance. There are times when everyone needs a hand. Your angels want you to know that you needn't to go through your current challenges alone. Accept the help of those around you. The situation you're experiencing is temporary. This may not be the right time to become self-employed. So be patient. See, I've told you that this is not really the right time for you to put out your money there and invest. Five of action, your angels want you to know that your current challenges pushes you to be assertive and self-confident. Be willing to stand up for yourself and defend your position. You have the right to excuse yourself from those who bring unwanted drama into your life, which is, I've told you, you're going to be cutting off some of those people who's just, you know, they just need you whenever they need you. Seeing clearly, it's time to view things from a different perspective. You have the blessed gift to see the past current situation and envision amazing possibilities. Don't worry, the pause and the momentum while you rethink your plan won't last. Embrace your uniqueness and allow it to serve you. Guardian of Action, it's time for you to step up and be the leader. Your natural leadership skills are being called into action. This is your moment in the sun, so move into the light and shine for all to see. This card is also about a person who has a charisma, is inspiring, enjoys the challenge, and loves the spotlight. Review and Contemplation, you've accomplished a great deal in your life and you have much to be proud of. Now it's time to decide what's next as you contemplate the past and the present. You'll get clearer out on your divine life purpose. Don't be distracted by conventional thinking and be the real you. Sign of emotion, life is blessing you with a wonderful and loving family. Great happiness and emotional fulfillment are now on the horizon. Harmony with those you love is assured by offering forgiveness, understanding, and kindness to others. You're rewarded with unconditional love. I feel like you're going to be getting this more from your kids. If not, if you're still single, then you're going to be getting this from your family members, okay? Now, healing family issues, speaking of, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. You still have that, I feel like this is about the mother issues. Um, I feel like if there is some stuff that you're still holding back in yourself and holding inside of you, it's time for you to release it, you know, unleash your baggages and free yourself from all of these weights so that you can freely move 
and freely move forward. Now, attraction, you attract romantic love by enjoying this month, uh, sorry, this moment fully. Attraction is actually you need to pamper yourself a little bit. You need to go to the salon, you need to change your hairdo, you need to change your hair color, and everything else, okay? And go to the spa. You know? Unrequited love, there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. It is because that you have, well, it is actually your partner who just disentangled them, themselves to you and they have detached themselves to you because they cannot really understand your responsibilities and whatever it is that you do for them. So let's take a look at your month of August. Good news for singles. Singles, you're going to be marrying somebody from the past. Okay, the one is going to be coming back into your life around the month of July. Alright, let's take a look. It seems like this person will be, you know, will be very serious. And let's see what's going to happen next around the month of September if they're still going to be very consistent until the month of December. Because some people, they're just serious and taking you for a ride just for their own fun and ego. But some are just seriously in love with you, you know. So let's see. Travel within the first two weeks of this month of August for you. That is work related. Why are this all reversed? Be careful that someone will be sabotaging your work out of envy and spite. Most of the people are very threatened in the presence of Capricorn, you know? Other Capricorns are just really humble about whatever it is that they do and wherever they are good at, but some people are just very threatened with their, whatever they can do. Missing out the old you. Reminiscing, feeling nostalgic. Alright, looks like you're going to be losing up a little bit around the first week of August and you are going away somewhere. Alright, for some Capricorns who already have a family or who's already married, you know, you're going to be going away on a trip with your family or with your children and I feel like you just want to simply spend time with them. Most likely that, you're, that you want to go for camping. I'm also seeing a cabin that you're going to be staying or, you know, something like that. 
and it seems like you're also going to be a little bit nostalgic and uh, looking back into the past that you know how you have started the things that you have gone through and the things that you will be going through but you're not going to be able to go through without you know without your uh, the help of your family and your children you're going to be feeling a little bit sentimental as well you know now for those singles it seems like you're go you're going to be spending more time with your friends and you are going on a like a vacation it's more of a road trip it's not really that far i don't feel like you're going to be taking a plane but it's, but it's more of a road trip okay good for you to detoxify and good for you to distrust yourself and uh, stay away from all the toxicity in your work environment which is it has been eating you up lately middle of the month for single Capricorns definitely you are gonna be back together with someone whom you consider as your soulmate or somebody from the past you will either you're the one who will be proposing or someone will be proposing to you okay now this is more most likely a brand new beginning and I feel like the two of you are really meant to be together right after being estranged for a few months or a few years and you have finally learned your lesson rediscovered yourself readjusted change and I feel like you have outgrown all of those immaturities that you cannot really you know get along with with your ex but now the two of you are finally gonna be folding together and will be um, starting a new chapter a new beginning now for married Capricorns some will be planning to um, renew their vows or to re-get married well sorry to remarry some will be planning to have another child as well you'll be going through some transition expect some friction tension arguments complications as well confusion right at the third week of this month but then it will all get sorted out at the last week of the month of August so I feel like it's all part of the adjustment okay you also you just need to be a little bit more uh, cool because you're a little bit hot tempered and easy to snap okay now some Capricorns who's actually with a fire sign you'll just decide to file for a divorce and walk away if your differences won't uh, actually be fixed and get settled not to mention that you will also be catching someone who is committing an infidelity okay those Capricorns who's with a fire sign there is a heartbreak that that actually awaits you which is you're kind of expecting this already so this is no longer new to you that's why you're you're feeling so calm and it's like you've already prepared for this okay you'll be catching most of the lies and you'll be getting more evidences against this person especially if they've been conniving or they've been having an affair with an air sign or with a water sign now oh, you're gonna be walking away from this relationship definitely you're not one to tolerate an infidelity or an affair because you're a very loyal person now please take note that there are some Capricorns who's also an infidel or who cheats as well and that is the different version of Capricorn okay now as for your work travel for the first two weeks of this month which is I feel like one is for your family one is also for your business or for your work related stuff now you will get more you will get even more closer with the higher ups or with your bosses and this will just create more tension and create more flare you know to those uh, to those of your colleagues who's very envious of you and who's jealous of you and they will be creating more you know round of gossips about you which is you're just gonna shrug it off you're gonna get used to it and they're also gonna get tired from it you know but if ever that there is somebody who's already slandering you or committing libel 
might as well some file some legal suits or legal actions against them now there is something that you have recently started either it's a hobby a new project or <clears throat> this is what you've been working on right now it is slowly coming into fruition but someone will be sabotaging you which is a younger water sign who's very ambitious envious um spiteful and i feel like someone is also pushing for this person to you know to sabotage you uh he is being um manipulated by someone who's older than him okay uh, which is you know there is something that you've been working on right now and it's like you've been working long hours just to get this complete but then unfortunately if you will leave or if you're gonna go on a trip definitely this person would be ruining your work and it will just cause you a lot more delays you'll be able to complete it and you'll be able to you know to hand it over in time which is magically you know some of those people around you will actually believe that you can um, work it up and deliver it on time okay that's how efficient you are but then this person at the end of the month will definitely be losing their job for whatever they've done or whatever they're gonna be doing to you all right and you are gonna start thinking of moving to a new company new department or new team all right now love life and sex life this well it's gonna be blooming and not so blooming feeling nostalgic looking back into the past missing the old you missing the old person that you used to fall in love with serenading wooing pleasing well a few excitements here and there but it's still gonna turn into sour okay sour moments and sour uh memories it's like the two of you cannot really understand each other it, it, you just couldn't really simply couldn't you know understand each other anymore or spell out whatever you want from each other and then while in the process of thinking how to fix this the other person will be launching into you know to their mistress or into their other half or to their sideline so you will be making a decision this month whether this should still continue or not and if ever that you're going to be making a decision your partner will be wooing you and there will still be more acts and more drama your health you need to you need to check your eyesight and you need to check your balance again you need to eat you need to have more iron and you need to have more rehydration okay and I feel like you will slowly rise up and you will slowly um, well you're on the path to healing some Capricorns will also find out that they are pregnant during this month or they're on their way to deliver a child be careful in wild animals or um, walking into the park because an animal an animal might just simply attack you out of nowhere or out of the blue you also need to move a little bit you know just to um, release some of those toxins and unwanted fats in your body you need to move a little bit and have a bit of a Sun in your skin in your body you need it and don't self-medicate you need to check your eyesight because I feel like you're either you're gonna be too sensitive and you're gonna be too sensitive sensitive while it's daylight or you're gonna have problems during uh, driving at night or during in the evening plus unable to concentrate and I feel like you will have some blurry vision or it's like there's a smoke in front of your eyes you know something like that and you also need to detoxify and rest for a little bit and distress okay release your stress by spending more time with your family and friends you're still you, you are too stressed out this is the reason why your your vision is getting a little bit blurry plus some Capricorns you need to check out your sugar 
and your blood pressure. Let's take a look at your oracle cards. Yeah, I'll be doing the uh, this one. Trust, children, deception. Strength, sign of emotion, nine of emotion, ooh. Act, I'm uh, sorry, ace of thoughts, eight of emotion, eight of action, ooh, eight. You know, this is actually good for the singles, okay, because you are finally be settling down and you will be able to find the right one for you. So it's time for you to kiss your single life goodbye. Now, inner strength, you have great courage and kindness. You may not realize how strong and powerful you are, but there's no problem you can solve. The compassion you serve for the gift to others must also be given to yourself. Stand strong in your convictions if the right answer to tell someone is no. Ton of emotion, life is blessing you with a wonderful and loving family. Great happiness and emotional fulfillment are now on the horizon. Harmony with those you love is assured by offering forgiveness, understanding, and kindness to others. You're rewarded with unconditional love. This is good for singles. And one more thing, Capricorns will also have a problem with their hearing or with their ears, or you will hear some ringing thing in your ears. Night of emotion, this is a magical time in your life and wishes are granted and dreams come true. It may seem that good luck is following you, but actually these happy times are just your reward for being a loving and wonderful person. Your angels are asking you to enjoy your life and have more fun. Ace of thought, this cherub is arrived to congratulate you for your brilliant new idea, which is truly inspired. It's important to communicate clearly and thoroughly with others who are involved in the implementation of your idea. Don't be dissuaded by little challenges along the way. These are merely course corrections to perfect your plan. Aid of emotion, you feel a deep line for something meaningful in your life. In your heart, you know that there's more out there. Waiting for you in the world, it may be time to switch careers, move to a new home or city, or initiate other important changes. Do what's right for you and seek out your magical new life. This is for those who's thinking of divorcing or separating from their partners. Aid of action, there's so much going on right now that it may feel overwhelming to you. And yet, it's wonderful to be so busy with the work that you love. Express gratitude for the blessings of heaven that are taking up your time. Even if life feels challenging, if you're asked to travel and take a flight, then do so with confidence. Because I told you that you're going to be traveling within the first two weeks of this month of August. Trust this situation is calling for you to have faith. You're going to have some trust issues and I feel like you can no longer trust your partner anymore. That's why you are withdrawing from the partnership. Children, this is more likely going to be the main issue or the main highlight of your relationship. Why you have tried to put up with this relationship for so long even though there has been a lot of red flags already. And speaking of red flag, deception. Okay, As I've said that your partner is having their own entertainment on the side. All right, let's take a look at your September forecast. Feeling a little bit cut off and dry and cold. It's like you're not really in the mood to mingle, to socialize, to talk to anybody.
Well, for those who's going to be separating around the month of August, then you're going to get back together in the month of July. Sorry, in the month of September. You know, most of the people ask, why do people cheat? Why? Why do they have to do that? Why do they have to hurt you right after giving your all and contributing your best to the relationship just to make it work? Because we have our own maturities, immaturities, reasons, egos, pride. That some people think that by hurting you back, that is their way of getting back their hurted ego. Their bruised ego. But nobody's a winner. Still, at the end of the day, both of you will get hurt, and eventually, you know, uh, regret the things and the actions that you have done in the process of ruining your foundation. Obsession, obsession. It looks like your partner will be regretting what they have done in the past and they're going to start to realize that they shouldn't have cheated on you because you are going to be attracting you prospects and you opportunities. In fact, you don't really care. You know? Oh, you also need to buy new clothes because your clothes need to... It seems like nothing will be feeding you anymore. Yeah, you're getting weight. In the month of September. Now... You will be feeling a little bit cruel, mean, cut off and dry and cold and distant and you don't really want to mingle and socialize and you're, most of the time you're going to be a little bit aloof or will be avoiding the crowd. There is an inner struggle that you will be dealing on your own and that you just want to deal this uh, you know, on your own and by yourself and I feel like you will be like just diverting your attention and diverting your energy into your work and uh, by traveling as well doing some long driving even if there's no direction or there's no certain place that you want to drive into you just want to keep on driving until you're already tired and until you're you know you've uh, already freshened up your mind now right in the middle of the month of September if you have been estranged with your partner around the month of August, they're going to be coming back right in the middle of the month and there will be a celebration and there will be a reunitement that's going to happen. But still, there is something that you need to learn from this. Okay? Otherwise, you will just keep on rolling the wheel over and over again and it will just keep on happening over and over again as well. Now, there will also be some changes in your home environment, or there will be a change of energy, a shift. Either someone's going to be moving in or out of your place, or you're going to be moving or relocating right at the end of the month. Okay? News will also be spreading, news will also be coming in. But just be very careful whom you spread the news from. Okay? There will also be a talk with, uh, it's like you're going to be, you're going to have some deep conversations, you're going to have some long talks with a fire sign or air sign about your current situation and it seems like the other person won't just simply cut it off or cut the cords and they're going to be like, you know, regretting whatever they have done and whatever they have, you know, cost you. But this is not really enough, you know. Now, somehow in whichever way you think or whichever way you look into this you're still going to be the winner and you will be analyzing most of your decisions and most of your actions okay so you're going to be making the right decision then 
Now, work-wise, it seems like there will be some peace that will be restored in harmony as well. Those people who's um, who's close to you and whom you consider as your friend will also be taking your side. But then you feel like, you know, it's just simply time to go. It's just si simply time to, you know, change your home. Sorry. A time to change your work environment or to sh get a shift from your current situation and you're just simply tired of dealing with the dirty politics now your boss will not allowing will not allow or will not uh, grant your application could be to you know to transfer to move or to resign and it seems like they're gonna be they're not gonna be um, accepting your resignation if ever you want to resign or if ever you want to move into a new different place or new different company department or team now when it comes to your sex uh, sex life and love life your partner will well this month okay first two weeks of this month your partner will be pushing their way into your life they're not gonna let you go they're not ready to let go of their relationship or the marriage they will be regretting all of their actions there will be an insecurity that's at play here and they will they are the one who will be accusing you of having someone else okay now you will be missing the your old life your freedom and the old person that you used to fall in love with but expect that there will still be some deception that's gonna happen within the middle of this month of September and it's not yet over okay now third to last week of this month things will become even more sweeter between the two of you because your partner will try to please you and will try to make you believe that they are really you know never gonna let you go and not really gonna give up in your relationship huh. right after cheating and you also need to rehydrate water therapy you also need to um because you're going to be feeling overly hot and uh too sweaty this month so you need to have more water and you need to take a shower more often like five times a day more likely or if you can if you can and um aside from that i feel like you're gonna have good health and more sound um, more sound health and you're gonna have longer sleep you're gonna be catching up on a lot of sleep this month and I feel like you also need to shop for new clothes because mm, only a few will be fitting you you will also be going organic thinking about a vacation around the end of the month plus check your vision again okay still about your eyesight you know might as well just check your uh, blood sugar as well because I feel like it's rising that's why you're having some problems with your eyesight let's take a look at your oracle cards Manifest your dreams, three of action, a win-win solution, letting go, seven of thought, creativity and abundance. Finances and career, chemistry, flirt. Okay. Manifest your dreams. You're ready to go. There's no need for additional preparation. Take the first steps toward the changes you desire, even if they're small steps. Notice signs that guide you in the right direction, as well as resources and support that miraculously appear. Three of action. Things are working out beautifully now that your ship has come in. It's time to decide what your next big project will be. You may choose to continue building upon your successes or move on to something entirely different. Be willing to travel if necessary. 
a win-win solution that strength and diversity by blending the ideas of other people with your own. You can often come up with a solution that's magnificent. Start by focusing on the aspects that everyone agrees upon and then open your mind to compromise and working together. Stay balanced and seek out a moderate approach. Letting go of releasing the past can seem like a challenge, but it can also be liberating. Your angels will help you let go so that you can fly higher than ever before. Endings always herald new beginnings. Choose to allow the situation to lead you to a more joyful life. Change your life by changing your thoughts. Well, if you'll just let go of that person who's been bringing unwanted dramas into your life, then you're going to be able to fly higher. Seven of thought, you've been confused about a situation in your life and now suddenly everything is completely clear to you. Whether the truth was revealed by your angels, disclosed by your friend, or discovered on your own, it feels great to be awakened and aware. Feel free to ask for time alone if that's what you need. Wallowing. Creativity and abundance. Dear one, you're being called to action. You're ready to accomplish great things and truly come into the fullness of who you are. It's time for great creativity. Giving birth to beloved projects or becoming a parent. Follow your passions and abundance and prosperity manifest for you. Now, finances and career, chemistry and flirt. The finances and career, this is because of your depression. It's like you're going to be a little bit distracted, not to mention that you're also going to be going through some hurdles at work and personal stuff okay chemistry you will be creating more attraction and more connection with other people not necessarily with a new lover but you will be reconnecting more with yourself flirt it's time for you to go out there let your hair down and feel more attractive okay now let's take a look at your October forecast Those who's actually working or who is holding a higher position, it seems like you will be dealing with the big body of the company or the board of directors or something like that. There will be some heated arguments and discussions that one will try to push their ideas or will try to implement their ideas, whereas you're not going to be allowing it to happen. more busy month for you Capricorn it seems like nobody can stop you this time you're really gonna be resigning and you want to move into a whole different ground location or profession altogether you're the magician okay you're gonna have a hard time moving out of the place or out of your location Catching someone red handedly. Month of October will become even more dramatic for you. As I've said, that this person doesn't mean that they're ruining you or they're trying to hold on to you you know it 
it doesn't mean that it's already over with the other person. They want to have the best of both worlds. All right. <laughs> Hmm, dealing with a large, well, most likely with a big body of uh, people. More likely that you're going to be so preoccupied with a lot of workloads, with a lot of responsibilities, expectations, pressure from your peers, from your colleagues, and from your, you know, from the people who have put you in that position. So you're going to be making a very tough decision that even though a lot of people will go against you or will be against your decision, you're going to be making a firm stand and right by the end of the month, you will feel that you have made the right decision. Right at the third week of this month, a lot of people won't be agreeing with you and will try to put you out of your position, but you are in a very sticky and uh, strong foundation. And position as well. Someone will even threaten you right in the second week of this month of October about the decision that you have made or the decision that you will be making with regards to your company or with regards to your, com to your project or team or department. Now, more clashes and more uh, more problems that will arise with a with an air sign, older air sign, who's also in the position, but just trying to to act like they know everything. Okay, family issues will also be arising right at the end of the month, and there is something that you will be starting, which you just want to slice off yourself from all the traumas that people are trying to bring into your life. If you're also trying to sell off your place, your house, and you're trying to sell off your property, there will be very good news and there will be a contract signing that's going to be taking place right at the third to last week of this month of October. Um, I feel like you need to hold off for a little bit, you know, about your major decisions and about the move. And if ever that you're also trying to make a shift or create some changes into your life that you want to see. Uh, this is not really the right time. Not to mention that I feel like, I'm not really sure, but I feel like the Venus retrograde will also be starting during this month. Now when the Venus retrograde strikes, when the two people break up or separate, it means that they're never ever going to get back together, not until it's four to five years. Okay? even if there is an unfinished business. Now when it comes to your work, it seems like you will just be handing over whatever you need to hand over and you're just about to begin a new role, new job, or a new chapter altogether. You will freely move on e either from a place, situation, a problem, or person or people. Okay, and you will be learning your lesson and you will become even more stronger, more strategic, and tacky. Be careful in celebrating too much and getting your the getting the success into your head because a some people will not be in favor of you being so successful and being there at the top. Don't count on younger people around you this time and if ever that you do have an air sign children or air sign child, most likely that you will be incurring disappointment, okay? And if ever that you're working with the younger generation or younger people, expect that they will also be disappointing you and will not be handing over the, the right performance or they're not going to be doing the right, uh, the, the right job. So most of the time it's you who will be rectifying it. The changes that you want to start and desire at this point, it's just, cre it's just going to create a lot of delays and headache and heartache. You will also be filing for some insurance claim, but uh, when it comes to your health, but it seems like 
or if you have filed for an insurance claim or for some insurance you know thing around the month of August September October most likely that you're gonna be getting it this month all right mm -hmm. now when it comes to your love life and sex life more confrontations more backstabbing more deception more obsession and I feel like right the third week of this month you will just discover a lot of hurtful painful and dreadful things about your partner which is you're gonna be catching them red handedly they're gonna be denying it there will be a confrontation arguments and um, bickering and bantering there they they could also be a violent fight that could arise but I feel like it's much better for you to walk away from this no need to confront no need to ask why where when who and you know like where did I go wrong no need to ask for this you did not do anything wrong to your partner it's just them they, they are the one who's got the, a lot of issues it's not you now when it comes to your health be careful with the bronchial problems chest pain uh, chest cuff and sensitivity of your nipples okay plus skin allergy skin sensitivity skin redness rashes patches and boils and be careful in uh, getting sickness or getting diseases from someone whom you'll be in touch to or whom you're gonna be in touch with and your immune system will also be an issue this month you just need to strengthen it and get more you know natural remedy or natural healing and uh, as I've said as I keep on saying take the lemon freshly squeezed lemon mint and garlic crushed garlic if you can just take that twice a day much better and a pinch of salt it's much better and be careful in having sex with a stranger or with someone that you you know especially for those singles be careful in having sex with somebody that you just met or that you're just in a casual encounter with now some Capricorns will find out that they are pregnant or they're gonna have an unwanted pregnancy some Capricorns will also have an obsessive admirer okay I don't feel like you're going to be getting anything from your uh, from that casual encounter or from the one that you're going to be having sex with, especially if you're single. But I feel like this person will be very obsessed towards you. And uh, I feel like you're going to have a hard time getting rid of this person, you know? It's like they're, for them, it's love at first sight, but for you, it's like, nah, I mean, it's just sex. No need to obsess over it. Let's take a look at your oracle cards for this month. Engagement, religious factors, healing family issues. Well, this is for those singles. You're going to be getting engaged with someone who is different from you, either they're Muslim or Jew. Ace of Action, Four of Emotion, ten, ooh, 10 of Emotion, Singles, Year, really, in a row. Four of Abundance, Two of Action, Three of Abundance. Well, this is going to be one heck of a, like, last half of the year for you, because you're finally be settling down, and you're going to be able to, you know, settle down with that person that you really love the most. 
Now, Ace of Action, this cherub is heralding a time of wonderful new opportunities related to your creativity, your career, or pursuing your dreams. This is a card of action. If you've been procrastinating, it's time to really get busy. It's also a great time to start a new business, have confidence in your abilities. Well, you've been trying to look for the perfect opportunity to invest your money, so this is the perfect time. For emotion, there are wonderful people who wish to help you. Opportunities are being offered to you, but you aren't noticing or trusting the gifts heaven is bestowing upon you. Look around you, daydream you're going within is healthy. It's a healthy way to get clarity. As long as you act upon your dreams. Ten of emotion, life is blessing you with a wonderful and loving family. Great happiness and emotional fulfillment are now on the horizon. Harmony with those you love is assured by offering forgiveness, understanding, and kindness to others. You're rewarded with unconditional love. Form of abundance, it's time to reflect upon your relationship with money. Oh, are you spending it too freely or are you holding it on it too tightly? This can also relate to to how you give yourself to others. Is your heart open or are you holding back? Your hard work and wise investments will bring great success. This is the perfect time to invest. Two of action, trust in your ability to make excellent choices. There's opportunity all around you. If you just continue to move forward, it may be time to take on a new partner who can help you be a success in your career or creative endeavors. Keep your eyes on the big picture rather than the details of the moment. Three of abundance, your passions will lead you to your divine life purpose. Do what you love and have confidence in your talent. Learn everything there is to know about your interest by taking classes, getting a mentor, or teaming up with like-minded people. Allow your creativity to soar. Engagement, religious factors, and healing family issues. Now, right before you engage yourself into a relationship or someone whom you will be considering as your soulmate or life partner, you need to resolve your family issues. Otherwise, you will be living up on a family karma or if your parent have a parent or parents have some karmic healing or some uh, karmic lessons then most likely you're going to be you know um inheriting it you need to heal first you, you have to learn how to forgive and you need to let the grudges go because it's only you who's just you know being weighed down and feeling so heavy about it and I feel like you're gonna be marrying someone who is a di who's who speaks differently from you who came from a different religion ethnicity language culture tradition or simply just you know different from you and good for those singles you are definitely be settling down before the year ends Get to know each other first. And finally, we're off to your November forecast. Month of November, finally. Ooh. Well, first two weeks of this month is not really going to be in favor of you. All right? So be careful about that. It seems like there will be a lot of issues, a lot of, not really failures, but more of delays and cancellations.
Well, there will be some disputes or there will be some confrontations, fights, big arguments that's going to be happening around your work in this month of J November. And I feel like you're going to be either going to be walking away or you will be opting for a vacation for a little while. Let's ask for clarifications on this, okay? It seems like there is a bacteria inside your body that you need to push away or that you need to wash it off by opting for, you know, water therapy. It seems like you need to drink a lot of water so that you can wash it off and you can push it away either by peeing or sweating or something like that because I feel like in the past you've had some uh well, malprotection, medical malprotection, and I feel like you need to have a second opinion with another doctor. Especially if you're going through some series of medications and it seems like the doctor that, you're, that you have been seeing or that you have seen in the past, they did not really tell you that they've made a mistake, okay, inside your body either by prescribing or injecting you something so it's time for you to go for a second opinion and much better for you to go and check it out with a professional one okay family issues family disappointments and family war or family disagreements that's going to be coming your way around first two weeks of this month there is also a possibility of legal entanglements or legal filing or legal actions that's going to be taking against each other okay some arguments about inheritance arguments about who's going to be taking who splitting a family heirloom or like a property that n all of you will be fighting about and there are some issues about in-laws as well you'll be traveling around the middle of this month of November just to get away from everything else and I feel like you will be feeling a little bit more relieved at ease relaxed and a little bit uh, healed as well okay again somebody from the past whom you feel so stuck to or f stuck with I feel like uh, this person will also be inviting you to their birthday especially if you're with a fire sign or with an earth sign so, of course if, it, if they are in an earth sign then their birthday will be the following month and if they are a fire sign then this is going to be their birthday month which is November to December now there will be it's like you're going to be opening up your communications or opening up your door to this person because they really want to sit down and talk to you have some changes apply some changes but then you somehow feel like it is much better for you to walk away and just concentrate in your newfound freedom and beginning since that you know that this person have already chosen the water sign over you now for singles, I feel like you're going to be having some issues and problems about the wedding preparation because you feel like you're the only one who's been taking care of this and your partner is not really contributing their their side. So there will be some some issues that could arise okay, with the obligations and responsibilities. So I feel like just try to talk to each other and if ever the other person is busy, just try to make it up. Okay. 
Now, when it comes to your work, as I've said, there will be some issues, big arguments, big confrontations. There will also be a verbal fight that could happen between the two of you, and either you're the one who's going to get suspended or someone else will get suspended. But either way, you want to move away from this, and you want to take some time off, and you want to offer a vacation. Now, you will be offered something new right in the middle of the month, but you will have a hard time resigning or quitting because there are a lot of pending stuff that is... Um, well, being relied on to you, you're the one who's just you're the one who's has been keeping it, or you're the only one who has the key to it. Now, around the third week of this month, there will be some bright changes and good news that's going to be coming your way, which you will be assisted by your boss or by your peers and by some people who's actually the higher ups. People who put you into this position will be backing you up as well. Success will be reassured. You'll be enjoying much of your hard-earned money and uh, hard-earned labor. But I feel like you're gonna get sick, or your you you know your body will be somewhat saf uh, somewhat need some uh, some rest, or will be suffering from over being overworked and uh, staying too late at night. All right, this month of November. And when it comes to your sex life, love is sweeter the second time around, but then it's going to get bitter around the middle of this month. And I feel like you're still, you know, your partner is the one who'll be determining who, whom you're going to be with. And they're the one who's only meant for you. You know, they're going to be feeling cocky and very confident about themselves. But now the key is actually with you if you still wanted to keep them in your life and you know that the, the toxicity that they're still going to be bringing you and instead of you flying higher they're going to be arresting the development again so it's up to you now again water therapy because i feel like you need to push away some of the bacteria inside your body you also need to rehydrate and you could also see and notice that you're slowly getting dried up Okay. Mm, be careful with the attack of animals, especially birds or some poop from birds because you're going to get a disease from it. And uh, don't stay too late at night. Watch what you eat and wash what you eat. Be careful with some parasites that will be infecting you. Some Capricorns will find out that they are also pregnant during this month. You'll be opting for some organic stuff or you're going to be craving for some granola or wheat related food okay aside from that you're you need to exercise and you need to stretch out a little bit now let's take a look at your article cards for this month before we read your December forecast Now, four of emotion, there are wonderful people who wish to help you. Opportunities are being offered to you, but you aren't noticing or trusting the gifts heaven is bestowing upon you. 
Look around you, daydream you're going within is a healthy way to get clarity as long as you act upon your dreams. Five of thought the path you're on seemed like the right one, but now you've run into a challenge. There's a better direction for you that will make you much happier in the end. Changes are necessary so that you can get back on track. Avoid negative people who are draining or who bring unwanted drama into your life. This is about your work. You need to divert your attention and you need to reroute. You need to take you need to look for another way instead of going straight. Seeing clearly, it's time to view things from a different perspective. You have the blessed gift to see the past and current situation and envision amazing possibilities. Don't worry the pause and the momentum while you rethink your plan won't last. Embrace your uniqueness and allow it to serve you. The spiritual teacher, there are great rewards in spending time alone. Use those moments of solitude to focus on love in ways in which you might give to those around you. Shine your light as an example for others to follow. Seek out a spiritual mentor of your own if your life feels unfulfilled right now. Messenger of emotion, this is the beginning of a new emotional experience that could grow into something deeper. You may receive a message expressing feelings that you didn't even know were developing. A social invitation could soon be on its way to you. There's a person involved who's very gentle and loving, with only the kindest of intentions. It could be you, especially if you're artistic, shy, and sensitive. Son of emotion, life is blessing you with a wonderful and loving family. Great happiness and emotional fulfillment are now on the horizon. Harmony with those you love is assured by offering forgiveness, understanding, and kindness to others. You're rewarded with unconditional love. Attraction, past life relationship, and getting to know each other. Now, before, as I've said, before you get down into that serious commitment and before you get down into, you know, like, um... A very serious situation with somebody of course you love each other there's you know, no doubt about that but you still get to know each other instead of d discovering a lot of hidden stuff you know when you're already together so that you won't have any regrets but you do have a past life connection with this person that's one thing for sure let's take a look at your December forecast December is the birthday for most Capricorns. December to January. Another hard day. <laughs> the family issues that will be consuming you and that will be, you know, disappointing you. Money will, money will be coming in. Opportunities will also be stable. But it seems like your personal stuff and your family is the one that's going to be ruining your holidays. Some Capricorns will also be winning in a legal battle during this time. More chaotic relationship for you, Capricorn. If you're not going to let this one go, you're going to have a problem. Parasitic issues, 
stomach issues, stomach pain, ulcer, indigestion. All right, so it seems like you'll be so disappointed with some family issues, family matters, or family expectations. You need to be careful and not to be too giving, you know, or people who will be stepping on you or people who will be trampling on you, okay? If it, it's like you need to put people where they should be standing, there will be an abuse, there will be some issues about taking advantage and people who will be using up your name or just to, you know, just for them to have whatever you have or ju just to have a slice of your cake first two weeks of this month there will be a lot of issues about siblings parents relatives you know and stuff like that and um, I feel like it is much better for you to move away from them there will also be some some issues about jealousy and uh, jealousy and uh, pettiness somebody from the past coming back into your life right in the middle of the month which is a fire sign you just need to be a little bit more stronger to resist the uh you know to resist this person from coming back into your life and squeezing themselves in and you just need to be a little bit more analytical stronger and logical and i feel like you're just uh, continuously going to be moving away and uh, you're going to be forgiving this person but I don't really feel like you should take them back okay because the deception will never end and the deception will just keep on rolling over and over again they're going to be sorry because they have failed to make the other you know other thing work or to make the other relationship work but not because they are really regretting what they have done to you now it's time for a change and you're up for a new beginning and for a bright and sparkling 2019. Now when it comes to your workplace, you need to hold off for a little bit and I feel like you also need to, you know, bite your tongue for the first two weeks of this month. There will be some issues and arguments with an air sign which is I feel like you just need to let this pass by. This person is very insecure and threatened of you and is just, you know, intentionally just trying to create a mess just for you to get into the just to, for you to get into a bad position, a bad light. Now, middle of this month, there will be an achievement, uh, winning, winning something, or you're going to be achieving a reward, recognition, an award, or something like that, or you're going to be rewarded for, you know, for a promotion. And I feel like you're going to be getting the... Uh, the project that you've been aiming for if you're also filing for some insurance claims from government stuff or for something legal or bank related stuff you're gonna be able to get it this middle of the month and you're gonna be winning through plus I feel like you will get even more closer to a male air sign who well, remember the month that you're going to have this, you know, this big argument with this air sign. Now he's going to be a little bit apologetic and he's going to be accepting his own defeat. So you're still the winner after all. Now, when it comes to your sex life, on and off, on and off. And I feel like this person will never be changing. You know, there will still be insecurities, infidelity wing here and there but then they're still going to be doing something right behind you and they can no longer be trusted so might as well just walk away from this this is a very toxic relationship and you don't really deserve this when it comes to your health parasitic issues someone is going to be giving a birth or someone will find out that they are pregnant and um, going organic or craving for some organic stuff you also need to repair some of your clothes and check out your closet if something still fits you because I feel like you're gaining more weight. You also need to turn your back on a certain food or eating lifestyle or eating habits. 
um, immune system that needs to be strengthened and uh, more supplements for your you know for your body more likely supplements or vitamins B and D and E it's much better for you to go and check out with your doctor okay aside from that I feel like you will be finding more comfort in the company of your friends and well close friends more of and I feel like you'll be spending your holidays with strangers or other people let's take a look at your oracle cards for this month Now to have thought your angels have noticed that you're not moving forward, you have multiple options that you're reviewing and you seem to be unable to choose. Ask your angels for signs as to what direction to take or just listen to your own inner voice. Deep down, you know what to do. <laughs> Messenger of emotion, this is the beginning of a new emotional experience that could grow into something deeper. You may receive a message expressing feelings that you didn't even know were developing. A social invitation could soon be on its way to you. There's a person involved who's very gentle and loving with only the kindest of intentions. And it could be you, especially if you're artistic, shy, and sensitive. Six of action, what a wonderful experience for you. Your project is a total success, bringing awards, promotions, and or other recognition for your efforts. Well done if someone who can help you offers assistance. Know that this person is having sent and say yes. Choose freedom. Sometimes you may feel as though your way is blocked, but often it's just an illusion. You can free yourself from the obstacles that you're so focused on by choosing a different path. Turn your thoughts away from negativity and instead envision endless other possibilities you might act upon. Fair decisions. Your angels are aware that you have concerns, but be assured that there's nothing to worry about. Stand your ground and know that heaven is shining its divine light upon the situation and all is being healed. Take the time to review all the details thoroughly. Forgiveness will bring peace to everyone involved. Messenger of thought, a new topic or intellectual project is really exciting for you. There's so much to learn before you feel ready to move forward. New information may require changes to your plans. Review all documents carefully. You know we'll meet or are someone who loves to learn and share knowledge. This person is brilliant, truthful, but also blunt and not very diplomatic. Strict. Now you need to go more out there for you to get noticed by other people. You will be reconnecting with other people who is kind of a little bit frisky before to you, but now you will be establishing more connection with them. Plus you will be more attractive. And keep an open mind. If you're single, if you haven't found the right one yet during this time, then you should be. Then you should have an open mind. And if ever that you just previously get estranged from your partner uh, you will try to keep an open mind but it won't, you know the situa this situation will never get better I'm telling you now let's take a sneak preview of your 2019 hopefully it will get better And please take note that this could still change. First quarter, second, third, fourth. The first quarter of the year for 2019 for you will become a little bit 
let's say slow there will be a lot of delays you will be readjusting yourself readjusting your life and it seems like you, there there's also a possibility of major move or major relocation including your job the second quarter of the year there will be a lot of good news it will be a little bit breezy and uh, relaxing for you everything will be taking place and i feel like this is the time where you, you where, where your wishes and dreams will be fulfilled third quarter of the year there will be a lot more celebrations more connections networks good people and uh, helpful people that will be coming your way and you will be socializing a lot you will also your popularity will also be rising now last quarter of the year you will be offered by a lot of let's say a lot of exposure a lot of business a lot of especially if you're in the media you'll be offered by a lot of endorsements and a lot of people will also be offering their help to you so it will be a very good 2019 for you plus it will be a very fruitful for your endeavor all right so anyway that's it for you for this last half of the year of 2018 Capricorn and if you want to have your own type of uh, advanced reading just go and visit me at my website at sophieangel.net or you may call me live on the phone or live video call blessings to you